So it's uh, Tech Appreciation Day today. Obviously, audio modeling just released the SWAM instruments also for iPhone. So if you already own any of the audio modeling instruments for iPad, you get to download these for your iPhone as well. And what would be the upside of using these on the iPhone instead of the iPad? I would guess that it's even more portable than having your iPad along. I mean, you always have your iPhone. So from a practice perspective, it's obviously a great advantage to have instruments on your iPhone. And if there would be any downside to having it on your iPhone from a performance perspective, I would be more apprehensive, but it doesn't seem to be. It seems to be exactly the same instruments just working on your iPhone. So uh, a great big thank you and uh, happy holidays from me to the guys at Audio Modeling. Uh, this was certainly a surprise to me that this came out now, but nobody's happier than me. I was thinking I have to sort of go over the mystery of getting this to work with MIDI guitar on the iPhone in my case. So here's how you do it. If you know that you own one of these instruments, you have it already on your iPad, uh, you search for it in the App Store for the iPhone, you go to it and you agree to pay whatever it says that you're paying before you get to know that, okay, fine, I'm entitled to download these for free as they are already my instruments. But I don't recommend you do this because of course there could be some snafu or some, some kind of issue where somebody has to pay whatever it says. So don't do this unless you feel that you could actually afford to be out that amount of money for some time. I don't know. Uh, but this is what it looks like at this point in time. So the first thing you get to see when you download this instrument is this description of the uh, phone rotation. You have a portrait mode and you have a landscape mode. And this is quite important because it's only in the portrait mode that you can do any sort of settings. And the thing is that once you open the SWAM instrument as a plugin inside of MIDI guitar, you only have access to the landscape mode. So you can't actually do any settings inside uh, the plugin inside of MIDI guitar. So those kind of settings, uh, band range or any sort of dynamic curves or stuff like this, those settings you need to do in the standalone version of the instrument. Save it and then open your instrument inside MIDI guitar as a plugin. I'll be setting the soprano sax up on MIDI guitar 2 on the iPhone right now. How do I connect my guitar to my iPhone? I would use a wireless setup, that's me, and I would use something like the iRig here. Perhaps you need speaker as well. This one I connect directly to the iRig in that case I need it. The first thing you want to do of course is to open up MIDI Guitar 2 software on your iPhone. You of course see too that you have the latest version. I have the default setting here. First two things you want to check is bands. I want to enable my bands because this is an instrument that has bands in it. So my soprano sax, I want it to be able to bend. I'm going to use band range 2 for a very specific reason. And that is because I already have my uh, MIDI mappings set to band range 2. If you have something else, fine. After touch must be enabled. After touch is what's driving the, the SWAM instruments. SWAM instruments have a need for some sort of expression data to be able to work at all. If we just enable after touch here, we can have that as the expression data that's needed. Let's go down to uh, the velocity window. Do I in fact have something here? It seems to work. You, you see the lines move here and then you know that, okay, at least we have something. I go on to instruments here in the instrument slot. Choose the soprano sax. And when I press this, this is the landscape mode that comes up. And I won't be able to get anything else but the landscape mode. The only thing that happens when I press here is I get something called initialize and that's a reset of sorts and I have advanced 
Here I can uh, reload the soprano sax. Uh, I have sound engine, which is the sound parameters presets that comes with the SWAM instruments like jazz or the train preset in this case, and you have classical. So you also have the MIDI mappings, which will be of the most interest quite soon. And you have microtuning. This is all the sort of settings that we have uh, at our disposal inside of MIDI guitar. It of course sounds horrible and this is due to the fact that I haven't matched my pitch band range with the pitch band range of the SWAM instrument. I know that I have pitch band range 2 set in the MIDI Guitar 2 software but we need to match that pitch band range and it's not accessible from this landscape view. The thing I need to do now is to go outside of MIDI Guitar. I need to go to the standalone app and import a MIDI mapping that has all the qualities that I want from this instrument. And then I can open this again inside of MIDI guitar. Now I can go to the SWAM instruments. And this is the full version of the SWAM soprano sax uh, app. So this is not in MIDI guitar anymore. Now I'm using them side by side instead. Here I have the controller mapping, MIDI mappings, sign and learn, import. If I go to where you would look at what kind of MIDI mappings you already have for your SWAM instruments on your iPhone. These are the MIDI mapping presets that I'm talking about. And I've done my own specific MIDI mapping presets for MIDI guitar to be used. So. You see that you have EVI and uh, MP default and you have uh, a lot of seaboards and, and stuff like travel sax and wind controller defaults and, and stuff like this. But I'm st I've realized that making my own and importing them into the iPhone is way easier for me to get all the things that I need. So if I go to import for instance, now I'm getting right to where I'm keeping my MIDI mappings. I'll show you how to sort of import them and direct your uh, SWAM instruments towards those. Search for MIDI. Here I have MIDI Guitar 2 Woodwinds Band Range 2. I, I seem to have breath control patch and I have a patch without breath control and that's the one I'm going to use now since I can't use the breath controller on the iPhone just now. So here I know that I have have them set up for different sort of uh, octaves since the Prano Sax is a quite high instrument. I guess this is one octave up. I'm going into controller mappings. Presets. This seems to be the one. This is the perfect one for me in terms of utilizing most of the guitar neck in relation to what that instrument uh, delivers. So. Uh, if I now want to use this inside of MIDI Guitar 2, I should be able to open this inside of MIDI Guitar 2. So I'm going into the default setting where I don't have anything set up just yet. Bends I want at 2. After touch I want enabled. And I go down to instrument. And I use the swam sax here. MIDI mapping presets. And I use the MIDI guitar to band range octave up. You see that I have band range octave up and double octave up. That's for the really high instruments like sopraninos and stuff like that. So the thing is that I have to go into the standalone version to sort of save the presets to the soprano sax that way. Now I can go into the plugin version and 
actually recall these presets from there. Sound engine presets. There you have these, the, the classical presets. I usually use this for, for practicing because it already has this uh, nice reverb on it. So. So I can of course change these sound settings without changing the MIDI mapping settings. If I go in under advanced here again and look at the sound engine, I have this classical jazz pop and I have the train. So that's how I would go about this stuff. Uh, you go into the standalone version, you add the MIDI mapping presets, and then you have access to those in MIDI Guitar 2. For me, that's the absolute easiest way to work. How do you go about doing these MIDI mapping presets, uh, you may ask. I did a pretty extensive video on this a year ago. i link to this here. It's called uh, Where to Start with MIDI Guitar 2 Mappings for uh, Swam Woodwind. So it's kind of a catchy title, right? Uh, but you, you can find it in... Uh, somewhere among my videos as well. I have a two-part series there when the Swam Instruments version 3 were pretty new. So these are the same instruments but uh, now they're here for iPad and iPhone as well. But the same MIDI mappings presets work for all three. I have some MIDI mappings already in a link in the old video. So if you need something try those out to begin with. But otherwise, go learn how to do these MIDI mappings and then export them to your phone. Uh, just airdrop them onto your phone and once you go into import in the SWAM instruments, then search for MIDI Guitar 2 Woodwinds Band Range 2 and then you choose one of the presets that works for you. And that, I like the idea of being able to switch between instruments quite fast if I want to and have my settings already set perhaps with some sort of effect if I want something. So I really appreciate this ready to go way of, of working through the MIDI Guitar 2 setup with the ready to go patches to play. We shouldn't forget that this is not the only way to use uh, the SWAM instruments together with MIDI Guitar 2. But in my view, it is the best way. So it's up to you, of course, but here's my way of making the transition perhaps easier. I don't know. I probably won't be able to do any more videos before Christmas and, and uh, New Year. So uh, happy holidays, everybody. Uh, I'll see you when I'll see you next time. Bye.